Hello everyone, what's poppin? My name is Mr. Aquary, and today I decided to make a video about the next Call of Duty game, Advanced Warfare. I know that I am late to make a video about this, since it was announced more than a month ago. Um, but I had uh, a break, so at least I have something to blame. No, but E3 started a few days ago, and they showcased Advanced Warfare. They gave us a little bit of a preview, Actually, it was quite a lot. They showed an almost 10 minute long video of gameplay, showcasing only the campaign. Um, there were also some interviews where they revealed a few details. I'm sure most of you have seen the video. It's called Induction, um, and that's the gameplay footage video. But in case anyone missed this video, just check the description and you will find it right there. I would just like to begin with the graphics. They are stunning. You can really see that it's made for the next-gen hardware. This is by far the best graphics we've ever seen in a COD title. And that's pretty obvious. I mean, technology just keeps evolving. And what's interesting about the induction video is that we can see that Sledgehammer games really put a lot of effort into or in order to make Advanced Warfare different from the other Call of Duty titles. There are unfortunately no info about the game's multiplayer, which I am mostly looking forward to. Um, the developers of Sledgehammer Games said that they're not at the point of revealing it yet, but I'm sure we're not so far away from it, so let's just keep our eyes open for that. In fact, um, uh, Gamescom, I think it's called Gamescom, is a pretty big event and I'm sure multiplayer will be revealed there in August. Okay, let's start with uh, what we know about the game so far. Or kind of what we know. So when it comes to the story we know that the game will be set somewhere around the year um, 2054. Jonathan Irons, played by Kevin Spacey, is the founder and president of the private military company called Atlas Corporation. This is the antagonist of the story, the villain so to speak. There is um, a conflict between Atlas Corporation and the government of the United States. And uh, Jonathan Irons believes that the government has failed in installing democracies across the world for over a century. So he wants to do something about this. And the the United States the United States Marine Corps are also involved in the game. It appears as a faction in literally all Call of Duty titles so far. In the first trailer that uh, was seen, we saw we see that Jonathan Irons is talking about how the world needs leaders that will keep chaos at bay which basically means to prevent chaos. And this is where he comes in. He declares war on the United States in order to become this leader. So E3 2014 gave us some details about the campaign. First of all, we can see that we will be playing as Jack Mitchell, the protagonist of the story. He is a new recruit, a marine, and we will be following his story across 10 years, seeing him develop into a hardened veteran. At A3, we also got to see some, or well, we got to see some gameplay footage, and it showed us the campaign, as mentioned earlier. And they showed us the very beginning of the game, where you are being dropped from a very high distance in a pod. And then we see Mitchell and some other characters getting out of the pod. We see the character shooting the bad guys through a hallway. Very classic Call of Duty. And after killing the bad guys, they just continue to finish their mission. So now, to the point. So what do we get from this gameplay footage? Well, soldiers are m super powerful. They wear something called exoskeletons, called exos. And essentially what they do is that they enhance strength and speed, you know, mobility and even boost jumping is possible with this suit. Uh, and also dashing is available. 
using this suit and this could be very useful when trying to avoid attacks. Dashing is even possible in mid-air, but there is a limit of course, so you, you, you won't be able to spam the dash button. And something else that was revealed during an interview with the developers is that um, at the end of every mission you will be awarded with points depending on your performance. You can spend these points to upgrade your skeleton suit and you can give it you can give it fast running, quicker reloads and you know more stuff. And one of the developers said that you will probably need to play the campaign more than once if you want to fully upgrade the exos and I think that's a great idea because it makes you go back and play the campaign again in sort of a different way. We also got some footage of the grenades that were used and these grenades are super futuristic and smart. You can see that we will be able to cycle through some different grenades uh, or different grenade options. So there are different types of grenades. We see some grenades that are able to hover in mid-air, recognize an enemy and then approach that enemy. That's some really high tech and I really like it. There are grenades that locate and highlight enemies through objects as well, so really high tech. In terms of vehicles, we have seen hover bikes and we've seen some other really cool aircraft that was seen um, in the first reveal trailer that was released. And in terms of weapons, we saw in this induction gameplay footage video two of the guns and the first one that was shown is just so cool there is a 3d printed rifle the gun can print out the ammunition and this really shows the high tech in the game there is also a plasma powered gun seen in the game kind of like a shotgun but instead it shows this big blast reminds me of the thunder gun from black ops zombies so to have that incorporated in the campaign version of Call of Duty is very cool. There are many more things that can be discussed here. Two missions, Collapse and Biolab, were also shown, but not to the public. I will save that for another video. And the title of this video will, will have um, everything we know so far. And I guess it's not everything we know. There are many more details. But I decided to just talk about the main things. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game because it seems like they're putting much effort into making the game different from other Call of Duties and I think we need that. It's been quite repetitive to be honest. So I'm very optimistic about this game. I hope you liked the video and also the gameplay footage of Induction and don't forget to leave a comment or like or even a subscribe Stay tuned and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!